Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to the Legacy SMP server. I hope you guys are doing great today, I know I am. I'm ready to play some more Minecraft together with you and do some building. I have a lot of things planned for today and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be super fun. We're gonna do like a nice combination of redstone, farms and building. Yes, can you believe that? It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, over this circle here, I want to build a creeper farm, but it's gonna be up there somewhere up in the sky Inside a hot air balloon and it's gonna have like a creeper farm inside We're gonna drop this stuff down into there and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be super fun So yeah, that's that's my plan for today. Hopefully that will all work out fine um, And I think it's just gonna be a cool little episode where we build that and maybe do the building below here Which is gonna collect all the drops and just kind of see where the idea of doing a creeper farm inside a hot air balloon will take us. So here we have the bottom part of the farm here. I have done this in a creative world, so I think I know how it will go. Uh, but here we can see just the sheer size of the farm itself. It's huge. And imagine this is the bottom, so it will kind of go up even more. And the hot air balloon is going to be massive. But basically what this is, it's a collection system where I'm going to have platforms. Um, these are based, the platforms I'm going to be building are based on Logical Geek Boy, who is on right now. Uh, he has like a super duper creeper farm. I'm going to base some of the design by that. I'm going to show you how it works later. Uh, and uh, the creepers will fall off and they will land here. And they will all just slowly get dragged into this bottom here. And then this fence gate will be open and they will then just drop down and into the collecting chamber down below so that's going to be super cool and it's going to drop straight from there but what i need to do now is to do the like a platform on top where the creepers can spawn uh, and then we need to uh, to get some cats up here and stuff but you know what let me do that and i'll just kind of sh take you through the design when i got it all up so so you don't have to listen to me uh, blabbering around about stuff i don't really know too much about so here we have the first uh, like floor spawning floor for the creepers and basically this will have like a s layer of trapdoors above and then we have the cat here and creepers hate cats that's something we all know uh, and these carpets here are to prevent spiders so we only get creepers here. They will be afraid of the cat. They will run this way. Uh, I'll have to actually put carpets on these blocks and these blocks here as well. Uh, the creepers will run, think they can uh, like path over here since these are considered blocks. Uh, and it will try to get over to these blocks, but it will fall down. And then you saw the thing in the previous clip where we're gonna like drop them down. So that is basically the whole idea here. Uh, it's just a platform like this. They spawn, the cats scare them away, they drop down and fall to their death. And we're gonna collect that up. So yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Hello cat, are you ready to just scare all my, my creepers? Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. Uh, so yeah, that is the plan. Uh, I'll have to add another layer above here uh, and then I'll fill it up with trapdoors uh, in between. So we got, basically what we gotta do is, whoa. Uh, I'm flying here. We gotta do that and then a layer of trapdoors because uh, uh, skeletons and zombies are like exactly two blocks high so they can't spawn here but creepers are a little bit less than a block just like I am. I can walk under here no problem. So I think that's uh, the reason why only creepers can spawn there. I might be wrong on that but please correct me if I am. So yeah we gotta do that. Add another layer exactly like this and I think that's gonna be enough for a farm that we're doing here. We have the second layer now done as well and added this top bit with slabs and then the trapdoors. Uh, it's not going to be the most efficient farm but mainly I just want to have a farm just to provide me with some gunpowder and this one is will, will be like far enough away or or close enough yeah both kind of that whenever we're working down here it will just constantly run so hopefully we will get just like a steady income of gunpowder so we can make um, make rockets because I'm using those up like nobody's freaking business and uh, it's getting expensive buying new ones all the time so yeah that is that <laughs> let's see how that looks from down here it's probably looking horrible Yep, <laughs> that's what I thought. That doesn't look good at all. Just imagine how big that hot air balloon is going to be now. It's going to be huge. Holy cow, that's going to be absolutely massive. Let's go back here. Let's just see. I think that's going to be just... I think it's going to be cool though. I think it's going to be epic. It's going to be big. 
but still look kind of neat, I think. Uh, so my idea is that it will be rounded on the top and then go down like a little bit, you know, like the, they usually do. And then we're going to have a little car thing, but then it's just going to drop straight through and into uh, some kind of building down here. Uh, and I'm thinking, I'm not, I haven't completely settled on this yet, but I think that the, the, the circle here where they're going to land is going to be like a pipe. Very like steampunk, big pipe uh, exhaust system thing. Uh, but we'll, we'll do that first and we'll see how long that takes us because now we got to do all of that Building around there which might take forever. But anyway, yeah, I think that's cool um, Let's do a little bit of building this place some wool and just kind of shape this thing up That is looking so cool and so big it's absolutely massive way bigger than I was first kind of imagining and so much taller as well it's kind of the highest part of my base right now by far it's almost as tall as this tallest mountain right here let's see if we can land nope that didn't work <laughs> uh, it's huge and uh, right now it's like just like the bare shell of, of the shape of it where um, it's just white wool I want to color this up a little bit you might have seen it in the, um, the thumbnail already how it will eventually look but uh, what I want to do here let me go down here and try to explain to you what I want here uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it work or not but what I want to do is to use some red I do have a lot of red dye here um, and then color up some wool and also want to have some yellow so I need to find some yellow wool maybe I can buy some over at germs boys shop and then make like a cool like cap almost Imagine like uh, yeah, a cap you put on the top and then you have the the bands or the straps like that that goes down from the, the cap on top. So it's going to be like a red and yellow, very bright colored cap on the top of this thing. Uh, and I think just adding that and that's going to kind of just lay on top of the shape we have now. I think the shape is going to look a lot better and I think it's going to make the shape look more, yeah, more realistic. Because now it is like on the sides here. It is a little straight, uh, but that is going to be covered up by this cap here, so that's why I didn't want to uh, spend too much time on rounding the sides there, if that makes any sense. But that's going to be super tricky, getting up there now and kind of working on the side of it. It's been a pain <laughs> uh, in working on like getting this circular cone shape in the bottom there, but I think it works. It's not too bad right now, and I just can kind of imagine the, the colorful things we add on the top there. But yeah, that's something I want to start on right now, I think. Uh, gather up some resources, a lot of dyes. I think I probably need like a couple stacks of red and maybe a stack or so of yellow. Uh, so I'll go ahead and see if I can find some of that and we'll just take it from there. Germs flower shop open now i haven't been in here since he opened it so i'm ready to do some buying hopefully he has the flowers we need to a decent price okay this is cool this is cool i need red this is red that's one diamond per stack and yellow that's one diamond per stack does he have the big ones yeah over here over here oh there's still one diamond per stack so that is like when it comes to the dye that is half the price of that one and then we got the sunflower as well. Uh, so let's say I take that many. Yeah, I think I think I need that many. And, and I think I'm just going to have one of that. Because that's going to give me two stacks, doesn't it? Yeah, that's two stacks. Uh, so that's going to be sufficient, I think. 
I just gotta say, from here it looks stunning. I just love my base from here. It looks absolutely how I imagined it. it Maybe even better. But what I want to do now is before we start doing any of this uh, flower thing. Man, my inventory is always such a mess. I hope you guys don't mind too much. Um, I'm going to try to jump down here. And then do that, okay? And then we're going to go in here and remove all the torches. Whoops, that's not correct. Can I just do that? Yes, okay. Uh, remove the torches here. And we'll just see if it works. I'm not sure if it will or not. Uh, oh, it's so tricky moving around in here. There we got one. And then we got to make sure... Can I... Can I reach that? I just got to do that again. <laughs> and you go there. Perfect. So then we need to take out these torches right here. You open... Did I? Pull that back. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, there we go. And now the scary part comes. Because this is very dark. I fall down here. I dropped down and through the system and now my elytra got to work. Yes, it worked. Perfect. <laughs> Wow, this turned out so much better than I was anticipating. And I'm so happy that it turned out that well. We did this during a live stream, which was so much fun together with all of you. Uh, and we, we really, really worked on this. We, we get back and forth and did new changes, did, took down blocks, replaced blocks, and just tried everything. It took us like three, four tries before we got the general shape of the, the cap there. But I think it looks gorgeous. Let's... um. I don't know, let's fly a little bit and just see it from the air, because it truly looked... Uh oh! Oh yeah, I thought I didn't have my wings on, that could have been horrible. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a, the shape there is not perfect, but if we don't look at it from that angle, we don't see that. No, it looks... from here it looks alright. Uh, and then we added this little cart carry thing in the bottom there, and, and from the looks of it, uh, the creepers fall through, we added a little thing there to make it look like... Let me stop there. Uh, this little thing there, uh, which looks like the thing that fuels the, the hot air balloon, like creates a hot air, uh, and that kind of guides them down there, so, so it should be working. Uh, I want to do a little collection system there later, but before we do that, I want to make sure that every like cave and small area around here is lit up, because there's so many of small, like you see the cavern up there and cracks there that are dark, where things spawn. So while I do that, I want to show you a few clips of a little bit of a hangout we did together with the, the crew here on the server. We played some jousting and it was all a lot of fun. So you watch that, I'll do some uh, some lighting up of caves and stuff around here and I'll meet you once all of that is done. One, two, three! Bang! <laughs> bang, bang, right. bang, bang, Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Jousting Arena. We have the two kings claiming... Two, to be claimed kings? I don't know. Whatever you guys want to call yourselves here. We have Logical Geek Boy and Mythical Sausage, who have finally decided to join each other outside of the battlefield for a new form of a battlefield here in the Jousting Arena. We've chatted a little bit about what this is here. Vigo Man and I have set this one up so we can have some peaceful thing, as I know... Castles are besieged, dogs are kidnapped, pickaxes are disappearing, swords are disappearing. <laughs> what What is wrong with you guys? You guys are just cruel. <laughs> Sausage, logical, please uh, step forward, shake hands. May the best man win. Whoa! What? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm invisible! Jousters to your corners? I thought you were a jester, not a wizard. What is uh, this? This is, is going to be easy. <laughs> 
Right, I'm ready. This is evil religion. It's the here. All right, all right. Take number two. Logical Geek Boy, are we ready? I'm ready. I was born ready for this, sir. Who said that? Can't sausage. see anyone. Are you ready? You can't see me. <laughs> all right, Vigo. Uh, get it? And just look it. for the bubbles. Your call, my friend. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> the bubbles. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Bad at this whole jousting thing, you know? I'm jousting. They really are. Moving. And they're off. I got him! <laughs> I'm not coming in. Here they go. Here, Here they go. go. Oh, yes! Oh, wow. Oh, I think this is the new aimbot they added to Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> that looks hilarious, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's just really funny. Oh, oh well, I just realized there's this huge network of abandoned uh, mine shafts below my base here. So I'm gonna have to run around here, which is one of the most scary parts uh, of Minecraft, in my opinion. I really hate going down here because there's always so many mobs and they're lurking around the corners like that one. And even though I have pretty OP gear right now, I, I still, still die. A lot from these things, but anyway, the last clip you uh, you saw was from the jousting between um, uh, mythical sausage and logical geek boy, which uh, it, oh, yep. <laughs> if you didn't know, they have oh, I'm running out of arrows as well. Um, they they're having like a feud between who's the real king on the server so if you're interested in that uh, you better check out their channel because they're gonna like show who won and, and what the results are and stuff like that it's uh, really fun i just showed some highlights from all of this oh hey there's some loot in here a name tag i'll take that torches is always nice to have um let's grab some of that oh hey, hey many of them very many of the zombies here <laughs> So yeah guys, definitely go out check their point of view. It's linked down below as always uh, So you can see who won and all the like story around the jousting and not just the actual action But yeah, I do have some more caving to do down here just lighting up all over the place here uh, It's pretty huge from what I can tell. I've been here before, but I didn't realize it was this big He's so stuck up there. I think I just encountered my first fossil in the game. I've never seen these before. Oh dark <laughs> That's kind of cool. I think that's pretty rare as well, as far as I know. So I'm going to just grab this because I always need a bone meal. I'm always running low on that. But I just want to share that with you guys. I think that's my first ever fossil in Minecraft. We're up on the surface again, ready to finish off this little build right here. The farm has been running quite a bit. Uh, and let me show you what we have here. We have, yeah, over a stack already from just stuff. I might even have like more than that just that has despawned since I'm not around. Uh, but what I want to do now is do a way of collecting these things. Uh, we need to do some hopper stuff, but it got to look cool as well. So what I want to do, hang with me guys, do a big chimney thing. Uh, like a steampunk brick old industrial chimney uh, which kind of rises up. It's going to be like thicker at the bottom and then it gets thinner and thinner. Uh, I need to make sure we have enough space between the hot air balloon and the chimney so it doesn't look like they're connected because I kind of want the hot air balloon to be like its own thing when we see it from the sky. You don't make the connection that this is a farm. It's more just like pretty. Uh, so uh, we need to make sure it's not too tall but still tall enough uh, so that they it look good, you know, uh, and the creepers die and stuff. So what I want to do is use bricks and terracotta, somewhat similar to what we did up there, uh, and then and here as well, actually, uh, to create a cool little chimney design uh, and just kind of see how tall we go with that. But I think I'm not going to do a time lapse on this one. I think I'm just going to start placing some blocks and just kind of see how it turns out. And just like that, we got a chimney in our base. <laughs> just taken up there it's still far enough away that it looks good i think uh it's kind of this brick chimney steampunk industrial thing and i did a cool like fade in the texture i'm not sure if you can see it it's very subtle but down here there's much more brick and it's more like rough and as you move upwards it gets smoother and smoother and more clay and i think it looks good i think it it's so subtle you don't really realize it but it just adds a little bit of um 
of texture to it, I think. So that is really cool. In here, we have now hoppers up here. Uh, and then we collect all the gunpowder in this one. And on top of those, we do have... I'm not sure you can see it. You can kind of see it. There are, uh, like, campfires on top of those. Uh, meaning we get, like, this little smoke, par smoke particle things uh, on the like coming out of the chimney and I think it's gorgeous I love it I think it's so cool and I like that it's not too much it's just like barely coming out of it instead of having this big big thing I think it looks a lot better and also separates this thing a little bit from the chimney here because if we had this uh, smoke come up to there it would kind of make no sense that the air balloon was so close so I think that's kind of nice and just kind of uh, ties it together without making it look like this hot air balloon and the chimney is one building, kind of. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But anyway guys, I think that is going to be it for today. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman and I'm out. <laughs>